So you want to talk a little bit about um, the impact of CMIS and or CMIS as they're calling yeah. it? Well, I, I, I'm very excited about having a standard, and I, I like the fact that it's based uh, in terms of like its transport protocol as as Atom uh, or, or on Atom. Um, I think that was a, a smart way to go, and I've seen a few debates on what a standard will be at some point, and, and I've always thought Atom was, was probably the, the, the best of the RSS-like kind of protocols out there. Um, I've read the standard a couple of times, and I, I do have some some questions on it. I, it, it when, I, when I first saw it, I immediately downloaded it you know, off of the EMC site yep. and read through it, and I, I started playing around with I downloaded Abdera and started putting together a little Java app and wanted to see you know, what, I could, what, I could, what I could throw together with it. And I did run into some questions about how maybe what, how some of the commands uh, would work and uh, how they would work necessarily without without maintaining state at, at the time um, but you know it's a it's a it's an early standard I think it's 0.5 right now still right yeah it's supposed to go um, live they're predicting sometime by the end of the year yeah and then it needs to get adopted and everything else I have the I have the alfresco API as well yeah, yeah I was gonna I, ask I, you if you yeah oh yeah yeah and I've, I've started to kind of plug through you know I, I, I tinker a lot with things and so uh, it's not been something I've been spending a lot of time on but I've certainly gone through it a few times and I, I, I do have some questions on I think it's gonna be I think you're gonna see a lot more adoption when we start seeing clients come out because right now everybody's putting out you know, basically the server side of it is saying, hey, right, I'm going to syndicate all my content or here I'm setting up the REST, uh, the REST API so you can you can come and consume my content using you know, whatever client you want to have. And once you start to see those clients get adopted for like SharePoint or some of the other uh, vendors who are indicating that that's what they want or, or the direction they want to go, uh, I think you'll see a lot more widespread adoption, hopefully. hopefully. Yeah. Um, do you see, I mean, as a guy who can get down in the code, yeah. one of the things that I'm curious about is it uses both REST and SOAP. And is there going to be some issues if, you know, your guys use REST and another guy's using SOAP and they, uh, you know, the systems have to communicate? I don't, I don't think so. I mean, really what you're talking about there is the serialization of the data once it, once it comes in. And so if I send you, if I make a REST call, I like REST a little bit more because fundamentally it can be faster. Uh, right. You know, REST, you can run it off a get, and then you can cache that get, and you know it never has to actually hit the web server or, right. or go through all that processing. You know, SOAP's a little trickier because you're certainly supposed to do it all the time. But for you know certain applications, certainly XML can be a little bit easier than dinking around with these like headers and everything else. You know, right. it's nice. I mean, hey, that's why XML's around right. to this day. You know, yeah. it's not it's not because it's pretty. It's because it's easy. You know, and you can put it together pretty pretty simply. Um, and uh, I, I don't I don't really see a problem there in terms of transactions. The, the, I, I have a feeling the REST client will probably win out, or the REST uh, API will probably win out over the, the SOAP, I, you know, over over the long term, since it is, it's just simpler, and uh, certainly it's more, it can be more efficient in terms of how simple it is.